The new DevExpress CAPTCHA extension for ASP.NET MVC allows you to efficiently verify that the submitted data came from a human and not a robot or script. The CAPTCHA shows a challenge image, a refresh button that allows end users to generate a new code if the current one is hard to read, and a text box. You can define the CAPTCHA's code length and the character set. If the code wasn't entered correctly, the error message appears. Let's take a look at how the CAPTCHA can be added to the project. Here I have an ASP.NET MVC web application, and here is the model represented by the person class. The home controller contains actions for the index view, for post and get requests, and the OK action that returns a view when an end user successfully submits the edit form. The index view contains an edit form with DevExpress data editors and the DevExpress button extension that is used to submit the form to the server. Let's take a look at the form in the browser. Here you can see the edit form that can be filled automatically without any protection from scripts and bots. Now let's add a CAPTCHA extension to the form. I'll invoke an action method here, and this action will return a partial view with the CAPTCHA extension. Then I return to the home controller and add the action that will return the partial view with the CAPTCHA extension. I add a partial view that contains the CAPTCHA extension. Then I add the CAPTCHA extension into this view. Define the extension name, and here I should define the callback root values. So I open the controller code. This is a home controller with a CAPTCHA partial action that handles the CAPTCHA's callbacks. Next, define the character set and the code length. Mark CAPTCHA as a required field. Define the error text. And define the error display mode. This is the same as the error display mode used within the data editors. Now to find the CAPTCHA's text box position. It will be displayed at the bottom of the challenge image. Then I return to the home controller. Here I add a check whether the CAPTCHA is filled correctly. This can be done using the CAPTCHA's get is valid static method, which receives the CAPTCHA extension name as a parameter. So if a model and the CAPTCHA are both valid, the form will be submitted to the server successfully. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. Here I fill the form with some data and try to submit it with an incorrect CAPTCHA code. As you can see, the form wasn't submitted to the server. And notice that the CAPTCHAs and editor's error messages are styled in a common design. If all the fields are filled correctly, the edit form can be successfully submitted to the server. And that's it. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.